Hello. I'm going to put my glass right there. Um, welcome to Cozy Corner. This is uh, a really good crowd. I always forget to like talk to you guys, so if you feel like I'm ignoring you, I'm sorry. I just forget to like. Um, this is, I think, our sixth, maybe seventh Cozy Corner concert. And tonight we have Chad Lawson, who is here from North Carolina. Chad is one of my piano idols. And I don't know if he knows that, but I am totally in love with his music. And so it's really exciting for me to have him here. Um, we're broadcasting online to um, our online viewers. So hello, online viewers. Um, we're going to do kind of a switch off like we usually do here tonight. We're going to do, I'm going to do a couple, Chad will do a couple, and we'll just go back and forth. Um, I am going to play all new music for you guys tonight. I have a brand new album coming out at... Hopefully the end of this month, well not hopefully, it's going to happen, it's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Still have a lot of work to do, but it's going to happen. Um, so I want to play some songs for you guys tonight from that album um, to kind of entice you and get you all excited about it. So this first one that I'm going to play uh, is called Breathing in the Moment. And it's about kind of centering myself, taking in a big deep breath, kind of like you do when you're in yoga, and just, you know, being one with the moment. And I, when I... Um, I got divorced a couple of years ago, and ever since then I've been trying to like live in the now and not worry about the past, not worry about what hasn't happened, and just you know kind of really appreciate what's happening right now. And so that's what this song is about, and it's called Breathing in the Moment. <laughs> awesome timing. <laughs> Sorry. No, you're totally awesome. Come on in. It was a parking lot in Utah County. I know, that's what I heard. Yeah. So, come on in, have a seat. Hey. Okay. I'll wait for these guys to sit down. If you guys want, there's, there's goodies and stuff. and It won't bug me if you get up and walk around. So. All right, Breathing in the Moment is the name of this song.
Thank you very much. Um, so I have, I'm, I'm thinking about calling, why well, I'm going to call my album The Beauty Within. And um, the idea behind it is that everything in the world has beauty, you know, hidden beauty within it and not readily accessible. You have to kind of work to get to see, you know, the really beautiful parts. And that's the same with human beings and everything, really. We, you know, we all have a beautiful part that's really within us. And the music, my music is part of what I consider to be a beautiful part within me. And so this is the title track from, that al from um, this new album called The Beauty Within. And the Beauty Within.
thank you very much. Um, so we're going to have Chad come up. Chad is here from uh, North Carolina, Charlotte, North Carolina. And he has um, two albums here with him tonight. Do you, you have more than two albums, though. I do. Yeah. So the two that are here tonight, um, Set on a Hill, is one of my favorite albums. It won Whispering Solo Piano um, Radio Album of the Year in 2009. And his brand new album that he just released is called The Piano, and it is unbelievable. He has some music on there that just every time I hear it, it makes my eyes close and I grab my heart, which is like the best music ever. So um, hopefully he'll play some songs from that, and I'm going to introduce Chad. That is <clears throat> the song she just played. It's one of those songs that I wish I would have been able to nab from the air before she did. <laughs> <laughs> but Michelle is faster than I am. It's a beautiful song. It is. That's a really beautiful song. It's. I'm going to steal some of it, just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> just so you know. So when you hear it, it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> we collaborated. I may just change the name of the song. <laughs> It's called The Beauty Within? Okay. All right. Keith, Keith Jarrett. Keith Jarrett is a famous jazz pianist who um, a huge influence on my playing. You won't hear it tonight, but just because he, he, he moans a lot when he plays, Aah! and it just doesn't really go well with this music. <laughs> but, uh, but, but he said, don't borrow, steal. He said, don't borrow music. He said, steal it, just take it, just call it yours. And so I'm going to... Still, still your songs. How's everyone doing? Great. How are you guys? Sorry, you're seeing like my best side, probably. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just got back from Spain. I was there for a week, and um, it was a pretty exciting trip because the people were there were really beautiful, and I learned a lot. Um, not necessarily about music, but just about life over there. Um, it was a small town called. I'm not even going to try to say it, because uh, I'm going to butcher it. But it's two hours north of Madrid. And it's about 30,000 people. And around 4 o'clock in the afternoon, all of the families would get together, and they would just walk around just uh, the downtown area, this old town. And I was just so awestruck about all these families that were just together and spending time together. I'm just like, what a concept. <laughs> and and uh, the, the guy I was with, he goes, you know, here, at least in this town, he goes, life is not inside the home, life is outside the home. And that really struck me. And it, it just, it really struck a chord with me. And um, it was just, and the people there were just really beautiful. And just um, one person in particular over there, I just consider him a brother. And uh, his name is Alejandro. And uh, it's so cute. The very first time I actually met him in person, there was a piano around. And so he went over and uh, he wanted to show me that he had learned one of my songs. And um, so, and this is it. So this is... Um, I have something in my eye. I'm not crying because I'm weepy. I have something in my eye. Um, so, so this is for Alejandro. Um, this is the last song that was recorded on set on a hill. It almost didn't make it on the album, actually. Thank you. 
so um, that was set on the hill, and then it went into the opening track um, somehow of um, the album, Set on the Hill. That song was called Will. And uh, the album was actually produced by Will Ackerman. And it's a funny thing because everyone is like, oh, well, he wrote that for Will. Um, I, I didn't. Will is a great guy. Um, but that song was actually not written specifically uh, for Will. Um, so Michelle mentioned that I have a new one that just came out last week. And um, it's called The Piano. And I think I'm going to play, um, I never know what I'm going to play when I get up here. So this song is, um, I'm a huge Philip Glass fan. I, I really, really love Philip Glass. I, I think he just seems to stretch the, the imagination. And so I want to be like him. And um, so this song was very inspired by him. I watched a great documentary on him called Glass. And if you haven't seen it, it's really fascinating. Unless you don't like Philip Glass, you're going to hate it. Um, <laughs> so, just being honest. Um, and so this is actually called uh, Nocturne in A Minor. So, I hope you like it.
Oh, okay. Um, this next song is probably actually it's, it's actually one of the I have. It's one of the best um, songs as far as the sheet music and, and downloading and, and such. It's been uh, it's been very generous to me, I guess. Um, and this song is, is I hate naming songs. Michelle and I were talking about this the other night. I just hate it. And uh, but but this one just really seemed to to breathe a lot of um, name to it. And it's actually called Reflection. And um, I actually have the sheet music to it also if you want. Um, yeah. I, I don't, I, you know, I took a class, this is so funny, I took a class with Livingston Taylor, who's James Taylor's brother, when I was in college. And he has a different mindset as far as naming songs and, and trying not to ruin the image that the listener has of it. And he, and he goes, you know, when any time someone comes up to you and it's like, you know that song? Yeah, 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 yeah sure, that song that you wrote. You know, uh, what were you thinking? Well, what, what do you hear? Well, I was thinking like snow caps and you know waterfalls and all this. Good. That's exactly what I was thinking when I wrote that song, you know. <laughs> and I just can't, I, I, I can't do that to him because it just seems so wrong, you know. So if you come up and you be like, you know what, I hear like lily pads in that song, and if I say that's exactly what, <laughs> um, but this song is this song is called Reflections, and it, it really uh, is just a matter of um, during the recording of Set on the Hill. I was going through um, some very difficult times as far as some physical issues going on. And I was very sick during the recording of the album. And the album was a very healing process for me. Um, during the recording, my wife was there. And in between the songs, I would lay underneath the piano while they would go and, and review the, uh, uh, the songs. And um, this title just seemed really appropriate because looking back on that, I'm, I'm fortunately, praise be to God, I'm, I'm totally much better now. and, and, and and so grateful that that is behind me. But I learned a lot through that um, as far as just life and what's important. And uh, so this was just aptly named Reflections.
So I'm going to do one more, and then um, let Michelle come back up and do some beautiful music. It's getting late in the hour, especially where North Carolina is concerned. They're uh, two hours ahead of us. And so uh, we, my wife and I, we have a one-year-old, and uh, it's just the most amazing thing ever. I mean, it, the fact that he's, he's a year and a month is just unreal. I, I, I tell people it's crazy because, I mean, he's... He's so young, but he's just like texting, and he's on Facebook, and he's just like, <laughs> he's, he's only a year old. And I just, oh, what's next? So he has to do certain chores every day to accrue minutes on the phone. So, but uh, he's going to bed now. At least he's, he's probably, he probably is. Um, and this is on the new album, and um, this is called Good Night, Daniel. And... Uh, this is probably actually, this is probably one of my favorite pieces I ever wrote. So, so I miss my little man.
Oh, I love that one. Is there a little somewhere over the rainbow in that one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wrote that one. <laughs> no, you stole that one. <laughs> stole, stole it. <laughs> Play it like you stole it. That's right. That's right. <laughs> that was beautiful. Thank you. Um, so, September, middle of September, I took a trip to Nashville to um, do a concert with my friend Philip Wesley, who was here at the last Cozy Corner. Bless his heart. <laughs> and uh, Joseph Akins, who will be at the next Cozy Corner concert. He's going to be here for the holiday concert. And John Albert Thomas, who was here in May. So um, we got together and we did two concerts in Nashville, and we had a really great weekend hanging out and playing piano. And when I flew home, there was, um, it was at night, but it was right at sunset. And so because I was flying towards the West Coast, I got to experience the sunset in the air for like a good hour and a half, I think. It was a long time. And it started off, you know, the sky was still blue and there was, you know, just a little bit of color starting. And then and, and as the flight progressed, I just watched out the window and, and the colors changed, you know, oranges and purples. And then eventually it got to where like the sky up above was dark and then the sky down below was dark or the land down below. And there was just this little thin line of like purple and red and it was amazing. And so, of course, I had to write a song about it. <laughs> and so um, this next one is called Into the Sunset. So I'm going to play one more song, and then we're going to take an intermission. <clears throat> this song um, is dedicated to my cousin, Cheryl. Um, how it kind of started out was um, I wrote, I wanted to write a song that made someone cry. Like, it's my goal to, like, write a song that makes someone cry. And I know that's just really awful, but I know that I've written a really good song when it brings tears. And um, 
this song, you know, to me is a really sad song, and I played it at my concert in February, and um, it made Cheryl cry. And I was like, yes! <laughs> I totally, totally made someone cry, and then I felt bad that I made my cousin Cheryl cry. So then a couple um, concerts later, I played it again, and, and, I, and it made her cry again, and I asked her, you know, what is it about this song that is so sad for you? And she said, it's not sad at all. It makes her feel really hopeful. Um, because there, you know, there was some struggles in their lives and, and that the song kind of made her feel as though there was, you know, light at the end of the tunnel. And so I decided to dedicate this song to her and it's called Cheryl's Hope.
going to take a fast intermission. Well, it's not a fast. It's a 20-minute intermission. <laughs> and uh, before we do that, I want to tell you about a couple of things. It's the same stuff I talk about all the time if you've been here, but if you haven't been here, this will be new information for you. On the back counter here, um, there's CDs, and um, there's also sheet music that Chad brought. And then there's also a whispering sampler. So um, let me tell you about whisperings. Whispering Solo Piano Radio is an online radio broadcast that broadcasts this kind of music 24 hours a day. So um, you get this kind of music, and there's about 200 artists on that station, and it's really, really a fantastic station. There's an album back there that's called Whispering Solo Piano Volume 1, which is a sampler CD from 16 of the artists from Whisperings. That's um, super good. Yeah. It, uh, if you want a really amazing collection of piano um, works, that's the album to buy. And um, there's also cards about Whisperings there so that you can get information on the broadcast. Then there's mailing list signups. Um, fill one out. If you don't, if you want to be on my mailing list, check the box. Chad's mailing list, check the box. Whispering's mailing list. If you don't want to be on any of our mailing lists, still fill it out because at the end of the show, I'm going to do a free CD giveaway and we do a drawing and maybe you'll win a CD. So 20 minutes and then we'll come back and play more music.